In this session, we will be learning a few basic properties of integrals. These properties help us to evaluate difficult looking like integrals in an easier way. Suppose if we have function 5 plus 5 tan square x dx. So firstly what we can do is we can take the 5 common and it will be 5 1 plus tan square x dx. Now if you remember the trigonometric identity that was 1 plus tan square x is equals to sec square x. So we will write it as 5 sec square x dx. Now 5 can come out and we have to find the integral of sec square x. And I hope that you know very well that integral for sec square x is tan x and here it will be a plus c. So for this particular function the integral is coming out to be 5 tan x plus c. Now moving on to the next example suppose if we have the function as x cube minus 1 upon x square dx. So first step what we can do is we can separate the numerator and we will get x cube by x square minus 1 by x square dx and this can be further written as x minus x to the power minus 2 dx. Now these two functions are being subtracted. So we can split the integral over each so it will be integral of x dx minus integral of x to the power minus 2 dx. So here it is x to the power 1 and here it is x to the power minus 2. So if you remember that integral of xn is x to the power n plus 1 upon n plus 1. So we will use it here and we will get x to the power 1 plus 1 upon 1 plus 1 minus x to the power minus 2 plus 1 upon minus 2 plus 1 plus c. So we will get x square by 2 minus x to the power minus 1 upon minus 1 plus c which would give me x to the power 2 by 2 plus 1 by x plus c. So this is the integral for our function that was x cube minus 1 upon x square and the integral is x square by 2 plus 1 by x plus c. Now let us see the last example. Suppose the function is x to the power 3 by 2 plus 2e to the power x minus 1 by x dx. So firstly what we can do is we can split the integral over each function. So we will get x to the power 3 by 2 dx plus 2e to the power x dx minus integral of 1 by x dx. Now for this case it is x to the power n and we just discussed that for x to the power n the integral is x to the power n plus 1 upon n plus 1. So we will use it here and we will get x to the power 3 by 2 plus 1 upon 3 by 2 plus 1 and here it is 2 e to the power x. 2 will obviously come out and we have to find the integral of e x. So in previous session we learned that integral of a x is a x by log a. So if I replace a with e here, so we will get e to the power x by log e and since log e is 1, so I will get integral as e to the power x only. So here it will be 2 e to the power x because 2 will come out and integral of e to the power x is e to the power x. So we will get 2 into e to the power x as our integral and for this one integral of 1 by x is log x. So we will write it here log x and at last the constant. So this is the integral and if I solve it further then I will get x to the power 5 by 2 and in denominator it will be 5 by 2. So I can write 2 by 5 here plus 2 e to the power x minus log x plus c. 
So this is my integral for this function, which is 2 by 5 x to the power 5 by 2 plus 2 into e to the power x minus log x plus c. I hope you have understood how to use these properties to evaluate an integral and how to find the value of various type of integrals.